definitely a lot of pressure when you get these type of collaboration deals. It's more about colors and placement and um, crossing your fingers to hope the other guys do their best to put it out there. You don't get a bunch of opportunities to go back and forth and samples and oh, I don't like that, move the logo up, you can do that bigger. It's kind of, you get a one shot and there's a world of critics. Now with the internet, everybody's a critic. Everyone's got a blocks page, you know what I'm saying? You can't do it for them, but it keeps you on your toes. Don't ever get comfortable and think that you're the bomb and it's just gonna come out perfect. You gotta work at it, make sure it looks tight and follow through and come out here and do these things as a part of it. I've been kind of blessed that as an early age they made me get in front of people. I used to airbrush t-shirts at car shows. So that put me in front of hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, painting. Doing live demonstrations, doing um, outreaches, uh, still tattooing, still going to car shows and low riding in the neighborhood. For me, keeps me grounded and sharp. You're only as good as your last piece. That's how I look at people. Like artists that are that are in the game, it's like, okay, what have you done lately? Seeing artists like Cope and Risk and those guys still out there um, bombing, it's crazy. Seeing DJ Muggs scratching at an event, it's crazy, because those guys are multi-platinum, been around the world, and yet they're still in the street. Tattooing, to me, keeps me hardcore. So I can do these other collaborations as long as I'm doing graffiti, as long as I'm I'm still tattooing. It kind of uh, keeps me as one of the fellas. Being true to your craft and, and true to art is by taking advice and, and, and getting inspired by other artists around you, you know what I'm saying? Like seeing Estevan's photographs, and movies and, and film inspires me. Seeing Muggs on tour doing his stuff inspires me. Like Cypress has a new album, you know what I'm saying? And, and seeing other people out there grinding and making stuff happen. You know, seeing old timers still building custom cars and they're in their late 60s, you know, um, fires me up. We keep our studio in the middle of Skid Row in downtown LA, so. We could be on Fairfax, you know what I'm saying, or on Melrose, but we choose for right now to keep it there in the street and um, keep our ear to the to the concrete, you know what I mean? You're watching RubyHornet.com. This is the homie Mr. Cartoon right here in Chicago. Don't trip. Potato chip. That's right.